Hello everyone and welcome back to Deer Fox Draws and today we are going to be doing part two of the Dragon Sheep Hybrid Challenge. If you have not seen part one, I highly recommend going back and watching it. Links will be in the description and I hope you enjoy. This dragon was difficult to say the least. Um, I'll, y I'll just let y'all get into it and see what I mean. All right, I'm upset. I just recorded the voiceover for this whole character and it all just got deleted, which leads me to believe that this character, who I had already pegged as the problem child of this group, causes more problems. He's mischievous. I don't, pff, I don't know what is with him. All right, so this next character that I'm drawing right now is a Nightwing Mudwing hybrid, hy hybrid, which I decided to name Kiln. I imagine that he's a really grumpy old man that lives on the Nightwing Island and that he is a blacksmith or a metal worker, which is why he has that little gauntlet. Mmm, yes, gauntlet. Now, I just, he was a problem causer just from the get-go. I didn't really have a super great plan for him, unlike the rest of them. He just was, he just did what he wanted. And that caused a lot of problems that I didn't have a really good plan for him. I, I overlooked some things that I should not have overlooked. So you can see I'm really messing around with his feet here. And I, that's because I really wanted him to have a slightly separate pose from Silt. I wanted him to look a little bit more like at attention, a little bit more like ready to jump in action or like he was really focusing on something. And I think I achieved that. I don't know. So I'm giving him a tail band, as you can see, and I figured that a lot of jewelry would suit his profession. And I imagine him as kind of a vain character, too. So he would have the material to make it. And if he's vain, why would he not make it? Unprofessional moment of silence. Moving on to the wings, and you can see that there are holes in the wings. I feel like this is probably something that a lot of night wings would have just because of living on an island where lava pops under your feet. And also probably because he's old. <laughs> he's an older character. I'm having a lot of trouble with the wing bones. And then an interesting thing that a lot of you have probably already noticed is that wing on the bottom right corner. I don't know what happened to this dude. Something, something happened. He's got a ripped up wing and a messed up foot. I don't know. So... Now we're getting into the part that caused me endless grief. I wanted to make him a very dark color, since he is a Nightwing hybrid, but if I colored him a dark color, I could not pick the sections with the selection tool to color them in. I would have to hand color, because all that dark, it thought it was the line art. And looking at this now, I see a very easy fix to this. I just take away the color and pick the line art, but me no smart. Me cannot do simple art tasks. Me talk like Neanderthal, apparently. <laughs> so I just, I just fell down this never-ending well of frustration, and I just dug my hole deeper and deeper as I kept trying to fix them. Like I made his line art blue in an attempt to separate it, but that just made an ugly mess that didn't work. So I scrapped it, all of it. I, I honestly kind of wanted to give up at this point, but. I don't know whether out of stubbornness or love for the line art, I just kept going. So I don't know if I'd learned anything at this point, because it looks like I'm doing the same thing. I just colored him in honey gold. A little bit of clarification here. I am editing this and filming this voiceover quite a time after I drew this, maybe like a month or so. And I think I've learned the program better. This was about the second, maybe, illustration I had done with the program, and I hadn't taken the time to look things up like I should have. So I'm just cringing watching this. Ugh. Learn from my mistakes, children. When you get a new art program, do your research so you don't waste three hours. Yay! Going back. And this is another point when I realized I made a big mistake. His wings. This one wing. Somehow I gave, 
I just messed up the lines so badly. I couldn't tell which part was his wing and which part was the wing bone. So I just had to completely erase everything in that top part of the wing and just figure it out. You can see I'm using like gray guiding lines to figure out like where the mechanics that hold the, his wing upright, I guess, go and just, oh, it was a nightmare. I don't even know why I did this to myself. <laughs> so this is me now attempting to hand color everything. And believe me, this took hours, ages on ages. <laughs> just, I just locked the transparent pixels on the layer and got to work. This was a mindless activity. I don't know what I was doing. Coloring in his gauntlet, doing his jewelry in a different color because it kind of looked like it was made out of aluminum foil. And now I'm starting to work around those accursed squiggly belly scales. I don't know why I decided to do that. Oh, I'm, I'm getting frustrated just watching this. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I, at this stage, I had figured out that there was an easier way to do this, and I just was like, whatever, I'll do it this way just for the sake of it. See if it works any better. No, it doesn't work better. No. Coloring in his scars, and this is when I, only after drawing this did I realize that he has Vulcan eyebrows. Like, he has the eyebrows of Spack. <laughs> oh. How did I not realize this while drawing this? I don't know. You can clearly see that he's an old man by the two lines under his eye. Yes. This is when things started to go up. I was going in to select his belly scales because I had a really cool idea. I figured if he's a metal worker and he is a mudwing, maybe he has some degree of fire scales or some other level of fire resistance. But once again, the dark color had just had to be difficult and I had to completely redraw several sections of him because the edging didn't want to work. And then I also had to blend out the colors because certain sections didn't want to color in. So that was just... <sighs> I realized that this episode was a lot of me whining about how hard this is and I'm sorry. <laughs> I changed his eyes to yellow. I don't know why, I just thought it would look cooler and complement his belly skills better. And moving into the wing where I can finally tell what's bone and what's not. Giving him finishing touches, deciding no on a shadow, and there's Kiln. I think he's done. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I know that I enjoyed drawing this, even if I did complain a lot. And in the end, at least it was a learning experience. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the like button. If you really enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Part 3 will be coming out in a little bit, and if you want to see that, maybe consider hitting the notification bell so that you get, as the name implies, notified when my next video comes out. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Deer Fox. Bye!